Today, the Driven to Make a Difference toy drive was held for the eighth straight year. Despite the pandemic, it was bigger this year than in years past. Two News reporter Leah Williamson explains why the toy drive is an example of what's working in the Miami Valley. There was plenty of kindness to go around here at Horsepower Farm. As the organizer of the massive toy drive and charity event says, he's seeing more donations than in years past. It's absolutely more important this year. Miami Valley families are facing a tough Christmas this year. Typically, the Marines see about 350 businesses in the area that sign up to collect toys. This year, with everything that's going on with COVID, we're looking at about less than 100 businesses that are registered. So not only have the amount of businesses that are donating gone down, but the number of families have gone up. But at the charity event Saturday morning, organizer Jack Stump already saw more than 5,000 toys and 100 bikes donated, breaking last year's record. We grew up on the Toys for Tots program, so um, we, we know what it's like and we want to be able to help have a little bit of normalcy this year. What wasn't normal was the event as Santa made a surprise appearance from the sky. It's a magical thing to see Santa jump out of an airplane and come down to our event. Saturday, other organizations also revealed their fundraising efforts. A K9 was donated to the Butler County Sheriff's Office thanks to the Matt Haverkamp Foundation. He, he does it all. He does tracking, area searches, article searches, and he does all narcotics. Really cool to, um, to see what we do for the community. It's not just for that officer to have somebody extra there with them to protect them, but it also is protecting the community. The Matt Haverkamp Foundation has donated 80 dogs in 15 years. Both organizations are looking to continue their community work in the future. Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.